Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson eight. Position, speed, and direction. Problem number one. A number line can represent positions that are north and south of a truck stop on a highway. Decide whether you want positive positions to be north or south of the truck stop. Then plot the following positions on a number line. A. The truck stop. Here's an illustration of a number line with the truck stop, A, placed at zero. B. Five miles north of the truck stop. Five miles north of the truck stop. Let's put north as positive, so B, five miles, would be located to the right of the truck stop. C. 3.5 miles south of the truck stop. South would be negative, which would be located to the left of the truck stop. I've placed the points on the number line. The point for A is at zero, representing the truck stop. The point for B is at positive five miles, representing five miles north of the truck stop. And the point for C is at negative 3.5, representing 3.5 miles south of the truck stop. Problem number two, A. How could you distinguish between traveling west at 5 miles per hour and traveling east at 5 miles per hour without using the words east and west? By giving west 5 miles per hour a negative sign and the east 5 miles per hour a positive sign. B. Four people are cycling. They each start at the same point. Zero represents their starting point. Plot their finish points after 5 seconds of cycling on a number line. Lynn cycles at 5 meters per second. So if Lynn travels at 5 meters per second, that's 5 meters times 5 seconds, Lynn would travel 25 meters. See the number line below, I have Lynn plotted at 25 to the right of 0. Diego cycles at negative 4 meters per second. Initially that sounds kind of strange. But this could mean that Diego cycles 4 meters to the west per second. Negative 4 times 5 would be negative 20. So look at the number line and you can see that I've plotted Diego's ride at the negative 20, which is to the left of 0 on the number line. Elena cycles at 3 meters per second. That's positive, so that's going to be to the right of 0 on the number line and three meters times five equals 15. So I'll plot this point at positive 15 to the right of zero on the number line. Noah cycles at negative six meters per second. That's like Noah cycles six meters to the west per second. Negative six times five equals negative 30. So I'm gonna plot Noah at negative 30 to the left of zero on the number line. Problem number three from seventh grade unit five, lesson six. Find the value of each expression. 16.2 plus negative 8.4. That's the same as 16.2 and take away 8.4. So we can write it like this, 16.2 minus 8.4. And the value of this expression is 7.8 or seven and eight tenths. Negative 9.2 plus negative seven. That's just like negative 9.2 and another negative seven. So we're really adding two groups of negatives. Negative 9.2 plus negative seven. That's a total of negative 16.2. So the value for this expression is negative 16.2. Positive two fifths minus three fifths. That's like having two-fifths to the right of zero on the number line and then moving three-fifths to the left. And that would take us to negative one-fifth on the number line. Another way to think about it, they both have five as the denominator. So we know the answer is going to have a five as the denominator. And then we can just subtract three from two. And two minus three is negative one. So we know the answer is going to be negative one over five. Negative four and three eighths minus a negative one and one fourth. Remember, minus a negative. That's like saying the opposite of a negative. So we can rewrite this as negative four and three eighths plus one and one fourth. Let's make the common denominator eight. 
4 times 2 is 8. Since we multiplied the bottom number by 2, we need to multiply the top number by 2. And 1 times 2 is 2. So now this reads negative 4 and 3 eighths plus 1 and 2 eighths. Since the absolute value of negative 4 and 3 eighths is greater than the absolute value of 1 and 2 eighths, we know the answer is going to be a negative. So we can just subtract and then write that difference as a negative. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 3 eighths minus 2 eighths is 1 eighth. So the difference is 3 and 1 eighth. But remember, the answer is going to be negative. So the value of this expression is negative 3 and 1 eighth. Problem number 4 from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 10. A shopper bought a watermelon, a pack of napkins, and some paper plates. In his state, there is no tax on food. The tax rate on non-food items is 5%. The total for the three items he bought was $8.25 before tax, and he paid $0.19 cents in tax. How much did the watermelon cost? There was no tax on the watermelon, plus there was 5% tax for the napkins, and another 5% tax on the paper plates. Before tax, that totals $8.25 plus an additional $0.19 cents in tax. That $0.19 cents represents the 5% total tax on the napkins and the paper plates. We can find the total price of the napkins and the paper plates by asking this question. What number times 5% equals 0 0.19? And the equation is n times 0 0.05 equals 0 0.19 because 5% as a decimal is 0.05. Next, we solve for n by dividing both sides by 0.05. And n equals 3.8. That means the total price for the napkins and the paper plates is $3.80. We can find the price of the watermelon by subtracting this $3.80 from the total price of the bill, which was $8.25. So $8.25 minus $3.80 equals $4.45. The price of the watermelon was $4.45. Problem number five from seventh grade unit five, lesson five. For each equation, write two more equations using the same numbers that express the same relationship in a different way. A, three plus two equals five. Let's use the same numbers and write down two more equations. 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 2 equals 5 minus 3. We could do one more. Let's do 3 equals 5 minus 2. B, 7.1 plus 3.4 equals 10.5. 3.4 plus 7.1 equals 10.5. This shows that the order of addition doesn't matter. 10.5 minus 7.1 equals 3.4. Even though they only ask for two more, let's do another one. 10.5 minus 3.4 equals 7.1. C, 15 minus 8 equals 7. Negative 8 plus 15 equals 7. 7 minus 15 equals negative 8. Let's do one more. 7 plus 8 equals 15. D. 3 halves plus 9 fifths equals 33 tenths. Remember, for addition, the order doesn't matter, so we can rewrite this as 9 fifths plus 3 halves equals 33 tenths. We can also write 33 tenths minus 9 fifths equals 3 halves. And another equation would be 33 tenths minus 3 halves equals 9 fifths. Problem number 6 from 7th grade, Unit 2, Lesson 10. Which graphs could not represent a proportional relationship? Explain how you decided. A has a straight line that starts at the origin, so A represents a proportional relationship. C is a straight line that starts at the origin. That represents a proportional relationship. Graph B has a curved line, so that does not represent a proportional relationship, even though it starts at the origin. 
Graph D is also not proportional because it doesn't start from the origin and it doesn't go through the origin. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.